All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation x to the power of x is equal to 10. So the reason many people get confused by this equation is because we have a variable to the power of a variable equals a number. And it's really hard to solve this because let's say we had something like phi to the power of x is equal to 10. This is more simple. We would just have to be using logarithms to solve this, but it's much more simpler than x to the power of x equals 10, where we can't, if we just try to plug in a random number, let's say 2, I get 2 to the power of 2, which is equal to 4, which is much less than 10. So now let's try 3. 3 to the power of 3 is 27. So it's really hard to actually solve this. And to solve this, we're going to be using something known as the W Lambert function, which is <clears throat> when we take the W of something that's in the form a, to, a times e to the power of a, this is equal to a. And let's just first start solving this. And then once the time comes, I'll explain how to use that. So our first step here is to actually take the natural log or ln on both sides. So I get ln x to the power of x is equal to ln 10. And now, an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move b to the front. So this turns into b times ln a. So ln x to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So I get x times ln x is equal to ln 10. And now, what I'm going to do is use the W Lambert function on this. So the W Lambert function says that if I have something in the form a times e to the power of a, if I take the W of this, this is just equal to a. So in this case, we have x times ln x is equal to ln 10. And I'm actually going to take, I'm going to rewrite x as e to the power of ln x. And e to the power of ln x is the same thing as x because the e and ln cancel out. So now I have e to the power of ln x times ln x is equal to ln 10. And now we can use this because we can think of a as ln x. So I have a, which is ln x times e to the power of a, or e to the power of ln x. So now, this means that this is simply just equal to a. But also, what I do on one side, I have to do on the other side. So I also have to do take the w of ln 10. So now I get ln of x is equal to w of ln 10. Now, we just want to find the value of x, not ln x. So I'm going to take e to the power of both sides. So I get e to the power of ln x is equal to e to the power of w of ln 10. e to the power of ln x is just equal to x. So I get x is equal to e to the power of w of ln 10. And this is my answer to this equation. Please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, Thank you.